<laughs> Bye, I love you. It's gonna be awesome. I wish I was one of those people that was funny when I came out of anesthesia. Something really cool happened today. Taylor went to an ear doctor appointment that we were highly anticipating because she has had a lot of hearing troubles. If you've been watching some of the vlogs, you've seen that her ears have been bothering her, right, Tay? Yeah, I've just always had ear problems throughout my life, but lately it's been extra, extra bad. Like, mm -hmm. I can hear my, it sounds so weird, because you're like, oh, you can always hear yourself breathing and talking, but I can like really hear myself breathing and talking. And when I breathe, I can feel something in my ears like, mm, 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 mm. like that. When I go underwater, it causes a lot of pain in my ears too. So I wanted to go get it checked out before I go to Hawaii, because I'm going to be swimming a lot in the water. We want to make sure nothing was wrong. Yeah, and it is interesting, because Taylor was like, hey, I don't know why, but like, I can hear myself breathing. Like, it's the craziest thing. So mm -hmm. we went to a different ENT a few weeks ago. How long? Maybe like, like a month, month ago. ago. Yeah. And the ENT looked in her ears and was like, it was just a very average appointment. She was just like, okay, this ear, there's no ear tube in it, and this ear has an ear tube and Taylor's like, can you see any symptoms or any reasons why like things are hurting my ears and I can hear myself breathing and she really had no idea and we left that appointment. Oh yeah, we have that in a vlog. Yeah. So we saw that vlog, we left that appointment and we were both like, I don't feel like that great about that. You know, like we scheduled the surgery for her and so we, that was the title of the vlog and then later we we're like, you know what, we're gonna cancel that surgery because it just didn't feel right. Yeah, you and can trust your gut. I'm so glad we followed our feelings, you guys, because it was meant to be, and I'm so grateful for this. So I posted on Instagram a little story that said, hey, Taylor needs a really good ENT. Do you guys have any recommendations? And I had lots of people respond, and I was like, wow, the power of social media is so cool. And the first response that had multiple people responding the same thing was Dr. Heidi Harris. So I looked up Heidi Harris. She had great reviews, and I booked an appointment. I was like, we'll just start there, because there were other people that had like multiple people saying the same thing, and I was like, okay, there's lots of good options. Let's start with Heidi Harris. So that was today. The appointment with Heidi Harris was today. I, it took a month to get in. You know they're good when they're yeah. a month out, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so true, Tay. I almost forgot that. Yeah. That's how long it took us to see her. And so as soon as we went in, I will tell you, um, I felt good about it. I remember specifically mm -hmm. standing at the counter. We were just checking in. I looked around and I was like, why does it feel good in here, you know? Yeah. And there's like, it's not like it was a super nice place. I mean, it was cute, but it was average. But anyway, that was the first good sign. It's just like a good feeling. And then we we went back with the first lady. I don't even know what the she would be called. The nurse practitioner, is that what she'd be called? Yeah, just the one who like, you know, first checks you in and asks you questions and stuff. And she was like, oh, Dr. Heidi Harris actually has a license in Hawaii too. And we were like, like she what? sometimes practices in Oahu. Yeah. So it's just so meant to be. That connection felt really cool to me. And then when Dr. Harris came back to talk with Taylor, you know how people say the red flags? It was all the green flags, like everything. Yeah. Everything just felt right. Like right away was asking about Hawaii and she was giving Taylor some really good advice about like going to school at BYU Hawaii and what a great entrepreneurship program they have. But it wasn't just that, it was what she did for Taylor when she looked in her ears. This is the best part, you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so both my ears were bothering me and both of them have different problems. This ear still has an ear tube in it. She said, you're not supposed to have an ear tube for more than two years and this ear tube has been in for seven years, which is crazy. So an ear tube is a tube that's through your eardrum. So because that hole has been in my eardrum so long, my eardrum is stuck like that, basically. So what she's gonna do in two days, she was able to get us in for an emergency surgery. She's gonna put a little graft over it and it's gonna heal over so I I won't have a hole in my eardrum. And then I won't be able to hear myself breathing and talking in this ear. And then in this ear, she looked in it and she was like, it looks like there's a little bluish tinge behind your eardrum. She's like, I think the ear tube fell behind your eardrum and it just kind of like healed up and closed yeah. it back. Cause we told her, we're like, well, we know that one of the ear tubes is gone. Like we just thought it fell out, right? Yeah. You know, and we're like, and the other one is still there. But when she looked, actually it was like right away. She's like, I think your ear took the ear tube in and like healed yeah. with the ear tube still inside behind your ear. Which is crazy. Isn't and that insane? The other first thing she said is, oh my gosh, I can see you breathing. Yeah, so when I was talking about earlier how I was saying I could feel myself breathing, like <gasps> you can see that. And she actually took a video of it and let yeah. us see it so we can add in that video. But the crazy thing is, is that we've been to other doctors who have also looked in her ears. Nobody mentioned that. Nobody said, I can see you breathing. I can tell that there's a tube stuck in there. And Dr. Harris was like, I've seen this like a dozen Dozen times like she's seen this before she's been practicing a long time and there's 
so many cool things. You guys, and Dr. Harris had been working with the ENT that used to do Taylor surgeries as Taylor was growing up when she had like five ear tube surgeries. Heidi Harris worked with him a lot and knew yeah. him and was like friends with him and then he passed away maybe a couple years ago, which is why we've been seeking out a new doctor ever since. I feel like we were guided to Dr. Harris. Yeah, she's so great. And the fact that she was like, okay, if you're leaving to Hawaii on Tuesday, then we need to get you in on Friday. And she yeah. made it happen. And you know how we said she's so booked out. I think she was just doing us a solid favor. I think so too. She was like, we'll try our best to get you in. And she yeah. got us in, which is so great. So she actually said like, keep a prayer in your heart or say a prayer she's in your like, heart. She's like, say a prayer in your heart. Yeah. I'm gonna add a link below to this ENT just in case you happen to be local and you're looking for a really good ENT. I wish I would have found Dr. Harris sooner. Think of all those nights that you just like no. cried. Taylor has literally, it's been so hard because yeah. nobody understands. Like the other doctor we went to a month ago when she was like, can you see anything in my ear that would be like a reason why I'm having pain if I get water in my ear? And the other doctor was like, um, you know, I can see how that could be irritating, but Dr. Harris was like, well, yeah, you should never get water in that ear that has the ear tube. Of course that's gonna hurt. Like she just understood. Yeah. Also, we're gonna add some footage of when we went to the back room, when they showed what was inside Taylor's ears. But I'm gonna say viewer discretion advised because when Kyle saw it, he was like, ew. I actually think it's kinda cool. I don't think it's gross, but dad thought it was gross. This is Taylor's left ear, guys. Oh my goodness. The more I feel like I'm seeing something is to see that line that goes from like six o'clock up to 11. See that little almost bluish hue? Yeah. It's yeah, better yeah. under the microscope. Uh -huh. So in, um, when we take out the other one, I'm gonna do a little exploration of that ear to be sure. So first they'll take well, out the yeah. ear tube and then they'll go into the other ear and they'll probably slit it and see what they can find yeah. behind. So in two days, in this ear, she'll take out the tube and then do a graft over my eardrum and then in this ear, she'll do an exploration just to see what's wrong. Mm -hmm. If their tube is really back in my ear, I don't know. We're still trying to figure out what's yeah. going on. Yeah, but what a blessing she found it when she did because she said if that stays there, a lot of really not good things can happen. Like she mentioned some things really quickly and I was like, wait, what, what does that mean? And she said like a cyst can form that can actually start eating away at the bone or something. Can you yeah. imagine if you start losing the bone behind your, I don't even know what that would involve I, if that happens. Yeah, that'd be horrible. I know. Stay tuned, because Taylor's gonna have to have a surgery, but it's a surgery I'm looking forward to for you. Same, it'll be good. Yeah. So, yeah. It's yeah. gonna solve everything. It's gonna solve everything. Solve everything. I am headed to the hospital right now to go get surgery on both of my ears. This is my ninth surgery, so it's kind of crazy. IV time. Mm -hmm. This is so fun. So fun. <laughs> it's like a mommy and me date. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we just did a little photo shoot because you've got to take a picture when you're like in the hospital gown. Right. And it was so cute because Taylor saw these and she's like, wait, why does it look like I'm about to be buried? Like, like my hands, they're like she, resting on top of each other. Like, it's like so formal or something. Yeah, let's make this a little more fun, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see. When, tell me this, okay. One, two, three. Cute. It's kind of weird because I can't bend my arms, so it's like. Yeah, because of the IV. Yeah. That turned out cute. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Those are horrible. No, they're not. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we are back in the back room now. Taylor has on this awesome hospital gown. Isn't mm -hmm. it so cute? Oh, and you saw that she got the IV. This is really, really exciting because I just feel like it's kind of a miracle. We're going to show you the after when Taylor goes back and the new Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> you look so different. Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to recognize you. Right. <laughs> going back. Thanks. Okay. Or they'll come get you, and if you're not there, they'll call you. Okay, Thanks. I'll get a drink or something, snack. Bye, Tay. I'm following you. <laughs> okay. Bye, I love you. It's gonna be love awesome. Call make that appointment when she. Okay, Tay's just waking up from anesthesia. And it makes her really emotional. Mm -hmm. Waking up from anesthesia always mm -hmm. makes Taylor so emotional. Mm -hmm. I think it's just like past trauma, you know? But from what? 
I don't know. I mean, everyone responds differently. You know, so anxiety. Just, yeah, maybe feeling. She did make the incision here just in case you had an ear tube in the middle of your ear and she looked around but she didn't see it. There is a chance that it could still be even further back. Like, I think she's thinking probably not. She thinks it probably just fell out at some point and we just didn't see it, which is probably true. Um, but she said that maybe just making that incision and putting the patch over it actually might help that ear relieve pressure. Oh, okay. Yeah, she said your ear is almost too open right now. Is there any way to thicken it so it's not something? No, there's not a way to thicken it that I know of. She said your ear on the right had so much scarring. Oh. Um, from Just from all your past surgery, she said Dr. Denny's had to put the tube so high up, and like higher than they normally do. Oh. Anyway, she got it out. She patched it, and it was really fast. Okay. Taylor said her left ear hurts the most. Her right ear doesn't really hurt, which the right one was the one that actually did have the tube in it. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I wish I was one of those people that was funny when I came out of anesthesia and I didn't really cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it is kind of funny how you cry. If you think about it. <laughs> right? All right, we're on our way home and we're stopping at Swig to get some drinks. I've been doing okay. My ears are kind of in a lot of pain and anesthesia just makes me so emotional. Like I'm just crying with, like at the drop of a hat, <laughs> but hopefully my ears stop hurting so bad and then I can just stop crying and I'll just be fine. Oh, here's, they're about to take our order at Swig. All right, got a nice big Swig drink. Now I'm gonna go home and eat lots of food because I wasn't supposed to eat very much last night and I haven't been able to eat anything this morning, so. I'm starving. All right, it's actually a few days later and my ears are doing so good. My ears are like the best they've been in a long time and I'm just so happy. I'm so grateful for good doctors and modern medicine that they can heal stuff like that. Yeah. And I actually got on an airplane and normally my ears hurt on airplanes, but they didn't, which is so good. I got on an airplane to Hawaii. So we're actually in Hawaii right now, you guys. And what we want to tell you is you should stay tuned for the Shumway Show because you're going to see Taylor moving to Hawaii. Yep. Where this we is are my right apartment, now. a little sneak peek. It's we're not really moved in yet, but I'll do yeah. an apartment tour. It's been a dream so far. It's been less than 24 hours, but we had to let you know the update that Taylor's ears are great. She's experiencing a little pain in one of the ears, but I think that's probably normal with surgery recovery and things. Yeah. But she said one of the biggest miracles was that she was able to fly and feel fine. And my mm -hmm. ears were kind of hurting a little bit when we were descending, but not Taylor's. No, I've so, got a crushing pair of ears here. Shout out to Dr. Harris. Honestly, I'm gonna have a link below. If you need a good ENT in Utah Valley, she's the best. Yeah, she's so good. So, so yeah, we love you guys so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.